tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a Windows 7 uh, on HP DC 1100 or 1100 on the, with, with using a USB stick here. I'm not going to show you how to actually put the Windows 7 on the USB stick because there's many tutorials online to do that. It's really simple. All you do is uh, extract your downloaded DVD file. Actually, you format it first, okay, and extract your DVD somewhere on your computer. And uh, you'll find a boot sec.x file in the boot menu. You launch it, you put your command in, and make this USB bootable. Then you just copy the files over. And that's, uh, that's even better than the d burning DVDs, because DVDs have to be burned on s one speed and some stu stupid um, settings and stuff, you know, well, because of the protection. And I burned two DVDs and they they failed, so I'm not going to bother anymore. So what we do here is we switch switch it on first, okay? And get ready to press drag dial button. Okay, now we press it. And and we point to launch system setup. Now we are not biased now. So we go to advanced tab advanced tab um, boot order hard drive you see, you'll see the hard drive has to be on top line right? uh, if it's not you can use a shift and the plus to move it up or shift to minus depending on your system and then you have to expand it because you have a hard drive in your computer, okay? But the USB is recognized as a hard drive also. So you'll see a, a plus sign in front of it. So you just expand it. And you have to move your flash before the hard drive. Otherwise the hard drive will boot first, okay? And your older operating system will boot in or nothing at all if you don't have anything. So we press shift plus. Okay, now we press F10, yes we want to save, and there we go, okay, as you see there is nothing attached, no, no DVD ROMs, no CD ROMs, no docking stations, nothing, only USB stick there, what was that? Well, that's basically that. I think, I mean, setup is easy to install. And, um, okay, it'll take some time, okay? I will just pause the video. Alright, so there we go. That's a Windows 7 Ultimate, or Ultimate, or Ultimate uh, in installation. Okay, so we press. Uh, okay. okay, the pen doesn't work here. I have to use the keyboard instead. And uh, you can use your USB mouse, okay? But if you don't have one, you can use tab tab key to navigate around, okay? And uh, all keys to select and enter to a actually no a tab is to navigate through the options okay through the buttons through the menus and stuff okay IOT is to navigate through well, lots of stuff just test it out yourself enter is to uh, enter and the space is to select that would be more correct okay so I'll show you the example here you see you have to you have to select agreement okay the space will not work here since it's selected by default right press the space button that uh see selected now i can press enter with the arrow keys press um, upgrade okay so you know uh, press custom advanced installation upgrade is crap it usually buggy usually doesn't work and yeah it's 
since I have a Linux Ubuntu on a Since I have Linux Ubuntu, it may be a swap disk. Navigate to drive options with advanced if you have your Linux on your on system or you have any other partitions you would like to delete. Press space and press D for delete. Okay, that did not work, okay? So we press tab again, we navigate to delete and we press space. Uh, yes please we also delete this I'm, I'm gonna do a full clean installation okay with all the format and everything I don't need anything else. if you have any files okay don't delete the partitions just install the very first one okay the old windows installation will not will not be actually deleted it will be named windows dot old folder on, on your main drive, main hard drive, a boot hard drive, or whatever you call it, I don't care. So that's everything, um, it's copying now, and it will take a good while to install. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now, um, I, I skipped a few uh, steps here because those included my computer's name and uh, the password and password hint. So you do that yourself, okay? And when it comes to activation, if you own a legitimate Windows 7, okay, you put your key in there and the checkbox for activate online. But if you don't and you use it for 30 days or you're gonna crack it, yeah, I don't care what you do with it, then you do not put any 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 product key in it and do, do not check the box there and when that's, when that's done you end up at this screen here you can just press the use recommended settings and put your time date here time zone mine is um, where's the plus hey Dublin 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 where the dubs we always lose. Anyway, um, well that's about it. That should load the Windows 7. And hey, the pen did not work, by the way. For now, um, I think I can get the drivers. For they maybe made them for Vista or something, because you can actually upgrade the system here. I don't know. That's everything now. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.